Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is Shirley with Soulstar444 and I've been guided to do a reading for the collective for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. And we're going to work with the Angel Tarot. And we're going to look at some rainbows. We're going to look at rain, drizzle, clearing, sunshine, rainbow, and pot of gold. Rain, what is holding you back from attaining your heart's desire? This is the question of rain. And we have the Ten of Cups, which is a beautiful energy. This is wishes coming to uh, fruit fruition. And this is all about abundance and all its forms. Love, happiness, joy, emotional fulfillment. And so the question is, what is holding you back from attaining your heart's desire? What is holding you back from attaining the Ten of Cups? Which brings all of your dreams, desires to fruition. So this is what you can ask yourself right now. And take some time to look within and see what comes up. This is about security and love. What's holding you back from love and feeling secure in love? This could also mean a new home and family and precious time together with an emphasis on fulfilling your dreams. This is also fulfillment, um, emotional satisfaction, as well as financially secure. Group activities are also favored, as well as work projects and trips with friends and social gatherings as well as romantic relationships and true feelings can be shared. So you may want to ask yourself what is it that's holding you back from fulfilling your dreams and desires. Then we're going to look at the first steps you can take toward achieving what you want and we have the Five of Swords Okay, so perhaps right now the first step you can take is to heal yourself from disappointment and loss and grief. Perhaps you're going through some tough, challenging times. And the first step you can take is to take care of yourself, eat right, get enough sleep and exercise and meditate and make yourself a priority at this time. And then we have clearing who or what comes in to help you. And we have the Seven of Pentacles, which is again about earthly prosperity, abundance. This is about um, having a vision so you can create your dreams and bring them in, into reality and also manifest them. So who or what is going to be helping you bring your vision into the 3D. Possibly your perseverance. This also means that this reveals potential for success and a tangible reward for your efforts. And this also could be about investing and taking time and putting the effort and work in. This is also a worthwhile job or business and or creative path. In projects, this seven can represent a research phase or some groundwork that still needs to be done. Do not ever doubt your ideas and do not ever give up is a big message here because your work has great potential to bring you the benefits that you're hoping for. And all of your effort will be worthwhile. 
Okay, and then we have sunshine. What the best that you can hope for. And we have the Ten of Wands, which is about fiery, fiery energy. It's all about action. But it's also about burdens that you've been carrying for quite some time. And you may be feel, feeling overwhelmed by your priorities at this time. And it's, it could be that you just have a, just a, quite a bit on your plate with your domestic demands and juggling all of your different tasks, especially with work and family. You may also feel that you've lost sight, you have lost sight of where you're going, given the pressure to get things done. However, this can also be a moment of realization and that you may be trying to do everything at once and it takes time to lay down, you know, a plan and perhaps you may even need to lay down these wands and it also represents that if this is you know this is could be just you know too much on your plate you need to uh, reorganize reassess and rebuild and reevaluate the structure of your days weeks and how you're doing and devoting time to each of your your projects and your priorities Okay, so the best that you can hope for is to step back and reevaluate your situation. Then we have the Six of Cups, which is about rainbow and short-term short -term advice. So I think you're going to be receiving some support. Six of Cups is about um, receiving support from friends and family and being able to reach out and ask for that support. It's also about karma and reflection. And this may come in the form of a visitor or unexpected online message. Support can come from your friends, even distant friends and family making contact. Um, so do not get too lost in nostalgia because people from the past are a reminder that you're loved and this also represents karma and can show strong feelings for a person you feel you've known all your life and maybe even in previous lifetimes. And then for the pot of gold, which is your long-term outcome, is the Six of Pentacles, which is all about generosity and prosperity. This is about sharing sharing and giving giving and receiving in both ways you may see even receive a welcome gift and when people think of prosperity they automatically think of money but prosperity and abundance come in many many forms it could be time spent with your loved ones it could be having time for you to uh, take a vacation time for yourself it could come in just having, you know, the shelter that you need and having, you know, your basic needs provided for. So prosperity and abundance come in many, many forms. Having friends, having social, social groups. And this is absolutely um, a way for you to also give quietly, if you'd like, with compassion to those that are in need. This is about possibly involving yourself in a charity that you hold dear to your heart. This is also about releasing yourself from a karmic debt. So whatever form the generosity comes, remember to always give back and to have a heart of gratitude for everything that God brings you. So I think the to sum up this beautiful 
beautiful overall message is that as we move through grief and heal ourselves and take the time to heal ourselves okay through the five of swords and release our past we're able to sorry we're able to move into this feeling of abundance and prosperity because we have a clear vision of where we're going now that we're not reflecting on our past anymore we can bring our desires and dreams to fruition we just need to keep going forward and and have that vision in mind of what it is you really want so you may need to ask yourself what is it that you really want you may also have to reevaluate and reassess what you're doing right now because you're carrying too much burdens and you need to lay these wands down in order to redirect and refocus your life with the six of cups with with the support that is around you where you can reach out to those that you feel you can trust and who have your your um, your best interests uh, at heart and would like to support you and that's through family friends networking your support groups etc and once you do that you reach a stage where you can actually give back to others now and also have an open heart to receive okay very beautiful reading I'd like to get some additional messages from the guardian angels this is the guardian angel tarot by Rodley Valentine I'd like to get some additional message please Okay, so we have ten of emotion. So you may be experiencing or about to experience an emotional time. And because of life is a blessing with the wonderful and loving family, this ensures great happiness and emotional fulfillment. These are all now on the horizon for you. Harmony with those you love is assured by offering forgiveness and understanding and kindness to others you are rewarded with unconditional love okay and we also have open your heart and the message is allow allow love to grow and bloom all around you you've waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for such a long time and now the time has come. Make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take. Joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. So it's very important to stay positive at this time. And that means in all that you say, speak, all that you think, because your thoughts really do create your reality. And you can even ask your angels, you know, I need assistance with opening my heart right now because I've just been through you know so many triumphs and trials and tribulations and in, in my life that um, I'm really asking to ask for assistance to help me keep my heart open at this time especially with all these responsibilities I have and so on and so forth we also have a win-win solution so everybody wins this is about collaboration and cooperation there's a strength in diversity and by blending the ideas of other people with your own you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent all you have to do is start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon open your mind to compromise and work together stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach okay so get together with others who are like-minded and begin to brainstorm. 
focus on the aspects that everyone agrees upon. So begin, you know, deciding what it is that you want so you can negotiate and collaborate and cooperate with others to create this win-win situation. Well, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sending you so much love and light. And until next time, God bless.